Hey everybody, we are setting up our breeding uh, area for our black soldier flies. Um, a couple of them are starting to pupate, so we need an area for them to breed out so we can get some more. So um, what you're looking at here is a seedling mat, a seedling or a clone tray with really, really wet paper towels, um, a fake plant or a real plant, um, and we just got some panda film and some staples to put it up. We have this, um, I don't know if you can see, there's not much light. Here, I'll, so we have this little cupboard area in our basement, and it's enough room for the black soldier flies to fly around. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up some panda film in here with the white side facing out so there will be more reflectivity because they do need light during the day. So we're going to put panda film in here and also to block out any spiders from getting in. All right, so we have all the panda film in there. We're gonna stick our heat mat in there. And we're gonna put the water on top of it so that it creates heat and humidity in here. And um, then we're gonna put this little plant for them to do their little mating thing. And they mate in the air. So they'll be flying around in here mating. And then we have a little bit of this cardboard here, these little cardboard pieces, they they will lay their eggs in between the corrugated pieces there. You just need to put a little bit of uh, some rotted food in between the cardboard pieces so that they'll go to them and meet in there. All right, guys, here it is. So we have our heat mat with our clone dome with wet paper towels on top, very wet paper towels to produce heat and humidity for this little chamber. We have our plant for the males to do their little mating dance call thing on there. And we have a place for the females to lay their eggs. We're gonna put a little piece of rotten fruit or something in there. We'll set up another one over there for them to lay their eggs. And we have a fluorescent light that has, uh, conveniently has an outlet on the back so we could plug our um, seed starting mat in there. So they have enough room to fly around in there and mate. And then we can just keep this closed so no pests get in there. Um, I don't All right, this is my first pupating black soldier fly. Um, you can see it turned black, and it has like a hook on its mouth. Um, they lose their mouth when they start to pupate, and they get this hook to help them crawl up to find some place dry to turn into a fly. Um, sometimes it takes a while, like a week or so. Um, but they're going to want some place dry, so it's good to have like a buck, uh, bowl full of salt dust or some cocoa coir, which we're going to do. Um, when they turn into this stage, they also excrete a uh, antibiotic, which is very interesting. Um, so I, I'd like to look into that a little bit more. So what we're doing right now is we're just going to uh, fill up this bowl with some dry cocoa. Um, and just like I said, they're going to be looking for a, a dry place, so you don't want wet cocoa or wet sawdust. This cocoa might look a little bit wet, but it'll dry out really quickly. It's just coming right out of the bag. Maybe in about a week, uh, I'm gonna add all the other ones that start to pupate, and maybe in about a week, that one that is in there right now will crawl up to the top and then wings will emerge and it'll start flying around. It'll be a fly. So, there it is. We're just gonna put this into our chamber.